Hey, welcome back, Yard Fanatics. This is BYD, the big yard dog himself. And guys, I'm gonna make this video real short. All right, had a viewer made a comment about adding this to this to spray on your lawn. And I'm gonna show you how this actually works. It's actually a shortcut, because normally we would put a weed kill in that and add a marker dye to either one of these. But this is for the homeowner who doesn't want to spend a lot of time outside. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all, Fanatics, look, I'm not, like I said, this is not going to be a long video, but um, yeah, yeah, BYD Jr. is back in the house. Say what's up to the um, to the Bermuda Grass Nation. Say it, say it. How y'all doing? Uh, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? That's BYD Nation right there. Um, Big Yard Dog Jr. himself. All right. So look, guys. I'm going to make it real quick. It, and, and this is so simple until it's just, it's ridiculously simple. Matter of fact, I don't even know why some of the, um, these manufacturers just don't automatically do that. But I guess they got their reasons for it. All right. So let me show you how to add this to that bottle. So you can spray it on your lawn, all right? Okay, you are fanatics. Look, I'm gonna be real simple with this. Now, you see this right here, BYD Jr. I don't know if you, they can see the inside of that, but this is actually a measuring cup that comes with a lot of this weed control and a lot of this um, insect killer, all right? So I'm not using insect killer at all today. What I'm doing is using this cup as a measuring cup. And you can see it has fluid ounces on the inside. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't on the other side. If you're from um, out of the country, it has milliliters if you like using that. Yeah, we're in the United States, so we're sticking with those fluid ounces. I'm going to add two ounces of this marker dye to this, and I'm going to pour those two ounces into this right here. Now, guys, I'm going to remove this, and when I remove it, I, I actually added some a little bit just to do a little testing, but I'm going to show you how to remove that. So first, let's go ahead and add two ounces to this. You could do it either way. Take that off, take that off first, or do you mark it out, however you want to do it. But let's go ahead and add two ounces to this. And guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. When you use this marker die, this stuff is just, it's a mess. It's easy to make a mess, but it works great. So if you read the instructions, it says pour with both hands on it like this so you don't spill any. I'm gonna pour it in here. Did a little two ounce mark. Stop. If you go over two ounces, don't start whining. Just, that's okay. Always screw this back on here and have it sitting on something that you don't mind dye getting on. Cause you can see, you see that BYD Junior? We got dye already dripping down there. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna take this off. All right, and guys, back in the day when you used to buy this, they used to make it so you couldn't take it off. Now, all of them you can take it off. Take it off. As you can see, it has a little dye already on it, but I'm gonna sit this down on my paper towel. All right. Now, now guys, when I add that marker dye to that, some things you need to keep in mind if it's too thick it may not actually work with the spray all right that's why i kind of like use that laser blue because that laser blue is real it's thin and it works great man it works great so let's go ahead and add this to this and the reason i don't pour it out of this guys because it's just so messy if you make a mistake or you drop that it won't be everywhere if you separate it and you drop it the only thing you worry about is these little fluid ounces in here so i'm going to pour these two ounces should i do it in here I'm going to pour them in here. All right. You got that in there. You're going to take your nozzle tip with the straw. Put it back in there. Screw it in. All right. We got that screwed down. Make sure it's tight because you don't want it leaking. Okay, our next step is to get it, kind of give it a, a light shape to make sure that none of that stuff is coming out. And guys, I would actually tell you, do this on the grass. Don't shake it up over concrete, even though I'm doing it now, but don't shake it up over concrete because if it is leaking out, 
All it's gonna do is land in the grass. Matter of fact, let's go in the grass. Okay guys, we're standing on the grass. And like I said, that's that little line that shows you where the product is in there. It may be hard to see because we added that marker die. But as you use this bottle, you'll start to feel the weight and you'll most likely start seeing the line. So let's give it a little shake so we can get that die. Next up. All right, we got that, all right. Our next step is to screw the water hose onto this. Like I said, make sure that that rubber gasket is in there because if you don't and you turn this on and you start um, getting ready to spray water with skeet all out and you got this dye, it's just gonna be a complete mess. So let's go ahead and give it a good shake. And let's put it on the water hose. Okay guys, we got the water hose. Once again, make sure that's not dinged up. Simply just screw it on. sure it's tight all right and remember that's the on and that's the on and off switch we're gonna turn the water on and we'll push that button and we'll start spraying okay guys and if you see I did some testing over there and we went ahead and sprayed a little bit and if you guys are asking me BYD you're doubling down on the chemicals that you um spray because then you treat this yard in your last video yes I did and for the for the for the video itself for the science I'm treating it again, guys. And the reason I'm treating it again, because believe it or not, it rained like H-E-L-L -L for two days after I put that stuff down. So we're gonna go ahead and retreat it, uh, mainly because I'm not seeing any reaction to the weeds, but we're gonna go ahead and retreat it. And Bermuda can handle a lot of stuff, guys. So let's go ahead and um, treat, treat it now. I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna spray it. And remember, guys, this works best when you got somebody dragging the water hose. Because if you're using this dye, you may need to make sure somebody's pulling the hose out of the way. You don't want the hose to still be over there, then you drag it back through the dye. Okay, you got there that? You are fanatics. Like I say, you know I always do my stuff live. You know, a lot of times I do, <laughs> I don't know what I'm what I'm gonna do, do, but I've been doing it so long. That's why it's easy for me to show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk down here and I'm gonna start spraying this. Okay, guys, and here's one thing you need to keep in mind. When you are spraying this stuff and you got that dye, understand you may get some on your clothes. Do not apply this when it's windy. If there is a wind, make sure it's blowing from your back towards that way, the way that you're spraying so it doesn't blow back in your face. All right, guys, make sure you got on your, um, your eyeglasses, your um, gloves, and your mask if you got one. I don't have one on now because normally it's, it sounds muffled, but make sure you got a mask on. If you don't have a mask on, just make sure the stuff is not spraying back into your mouth or your breathing, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and walk down here and I'm gonna go ahead and start. And like I said, it works best when you have somebody dragging the hose for you, but let's go ahead and do it. All I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this thing so you can see how you got with the hose need to actually pull it back if you got a, a hose guy if you don't and you use a marker die just understand you may get some on your clothes all right so here we go Fanatics. Look, I just want to show you. You see those little bits of blue dye on my latex glove. That's why you need a glove on, guys. All right. And another thing I want to show you too. You can you see how it's lighter blue over there. 
remember guys when you're spraying this it's a gauge on there it's hard to see but we're not spraying this based on blue dye all right we're spraying this on with the chemical inside so you know not to make this just look pretty for camera if you're spraying 4400 square feet you may have it darker in some areas lighter in some areas but you need to make sure that you cover the entire yard with this 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 the 4500 square feet on bermuda grass with this bottle some guys are spraying based on the color okay i'm trying to make it get dark and you actually spraying 4,500 square feet of chemical on 26 or 3,000 square feet and you're over applying it and you, you, it's gonna work now, but you still miss the other thousand square feet that you need to get. So spray this based on the 4,500 square feet and not the color. If the color starts to fade and you don't like it, add more dye to it. But this is, remember marker dye is really not to be painting the whole entire yard, but it helps you for as you know exactly where you sprayed and you know you got the product chemical on that particular part of the lawn all right so let's go ahead and continue okay, guys and make sure you give it a good shake and look i'm just going to show you what it looks like up close you see that balloon is coming out sometimes you have to you have to kind of take your time so you can make sure you're getting it covered how far are you spraying anywhere from 10 13 14 feet just depending on how far you want to spray out all right so you see me spraying it like that see that blue dye coming out along with the chemical and it's getting on the, the weeds remember this product this particular product needs to be watered in one hour after application what happens if you don't water it in nothing as long as you get some rain on this stuff in the next couple of days you still should be good but according to the manufacturer this product works best when watered in one hour after Okay, you are fanatics look like i said i use the whole bottle you, it's hard to see because i put that dye in there but you can basically hear what's left in there and guys like i said just so you see you know so you won't think i'm just making a pretty video for youtube like some of these other guys i used all the chemicals this is i'm about to pour out what's in here so you can see it that's all that's left that's the bottom of that dye right there all right these bottles the best thing you can do, add more water to this, spray it clean so that dye won't clog up that nozzle, and you can reuse this bottle, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Okay, you are fanatics. That's pretty much how you put that dye in that um, sprayer that you buy from the store, and you spray it on hand. I just want you to see it. It's on this bitter crest. I don't know if you can see that. You know, got a little, little marker dye on there. And guys, like I said, within a week or so, this stuff started dying off. Um, I got more videos. I'm going to show you how to, to um, actually get, get rid of this stuff. Once it starts dying off, you want to know how to get rid of it. We're going to show you that. But like I said, the grass has a slightly blue tint to it now. And I'll show you the other side that has that nice wheat pine straw color. Okay, and this is going to be on pro tip for the homeowners. Listen, when you're using that dye, if you're going to do it, Treat this area first without putting the dye in it. 
because if you get you won't get dye on your concrete try to stay at least three to five feet away from the, your house your um air conditioning units and your concrete spray it treat that area first come back add dye to your um to your sprayer let me get to it add dye to your sprayer and like i said add dye to that sprayer and then go ahead and spray the yard remember we are treating square footage we're not spraying to just get a super dark blue yard all right because if you do that then you're going to come going to get away from what your real goal is and that's actually the 4500 square feet for bermuda and zoysia lawns to put that apply that chemical all right so guys this video will be continued over on facebook me showing you how to reuse this and we're going to also have a uh, video on instagram so you need to be subscribed to my instagram channel my facebook channel and my twitter channel and i have links in the description for all of those so you can see this whole entire process hey guys byd jr is taking off his gloves i don't work in the Delph. <laughs> you all right byd jr he said forget you okay you are finax that'll end it for this video and remember one thing you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, man, you did a good job. Um... <laughs>